Hi ladies, uh, welcome to my backyard. It's uh, clear to see I am a bit of a golf tragic. Um, I look forward to working with you level two ladies throughout this term. Um, and hopefully these videos will give you a little insight to the coaching concepts that we work over. Uh, if you wanna hit me up with an email or a text message with any golf questions, hopefully I can get back to you at some stage, if not talk to you at the golf course. So week one, we're underway. A uh, couple of concepts that we're gonna work on today. Uh, we spoke about a couple of drills, so we're going to focus on trying to give you an outline exactly how to really master those or at least work with, with those two drills to help the body movements that we spoke about. So we're looking at the punch drill and we're also going to be looking at the step drill. Now I'll uh, be doing this right handed so if there are any lefties um, I'll try to explain it as clear as I can but I guess lefts and rights are a little bit opposite. Uh, this term we've all got righties so nice and easy for us all. Okay, so first one we're going to talk about is the punch drill. As we spoke about during the lesson, this drill is trying to just help us initiate uh, body movement, which is helping to control the inertia of the golf head. Uh, the golf head on our club is the heaviest part of our golf club, so it is wanting to move a lot quicker than the top end. If we're in a golf swing, what tends to happen more commonly than not is that the hands pull the club down first and that heavy head weight gets ahead of us and kind of beats us to impact, okay? What we're trying to do with our swings is get our body to trigger first so that the club can come through after our body transition. So punch drill, what is it and how do we go about it? Basically, without a golf ball, what we're looking to do is take our shoulder width stance, our grip, our stance and our posture. We're going to just get ourselves basically to position one or a little bit after position one being left shoulder turn, club parallel to the ground. And from this, we're trying just to trigger body movement first. So the lower hips are going to start, hips first, chest follow. And we're looking to finish with full rotation of heel vertical, chest not behind, but on top of that front foot and the club finishing parallel to the ground again. So slowly showing you, it's going back. You can go a little bit further if you want. It's a little harder. The further you go, the harder it is. But if we go a little bit back, body first, chest second, club finishing parallel, heel turned, and hip pointing to target, okay? Down the line, a little point of interest that we're gonna talk about is when that club comes back, body first, finishing. Now, as you can see on that camera angle, my club is outside what's known as my hand line. So the club is on the right hand side of my hands when I finish. Very important because we're trying to stop that club flipping and turning over. A little bit more speed, we're gonna go back, body and hold, okay? Try doing this movement at home if you've got the space um, on a driving range if you can get there. If you incorporate a ball into it, it's exactly the same, just not getting too much of a surprise when the impact comes. So as an illustration on the side angle, if we put a ball down, middle of stance, okay, grip stance posture, little way back, punching through, rotation, club finishing outside hand line, okay? Trying to make sure that we get that lower half triggering the move movement and finishing in that nice stable position. One more for down the line. Let's finish off our punch drill awareness. We're going to grip stance posture, ball in middle of a stance little way back, finishing parallel, full rotation, club, outside hand line. This is with a wedge, you can do it with any club. The shorter the club, the easier it is. So if you do want to challenge yourself, work your way up in the irons, seven irons, six irons, um, but see how you go with that punch drill. So now we're going to talk about the step drill. This is a drill that we're going to be using to help trigger the inertia of the body. Once again, really trying to lay off the club, so letting the club take care of itself by body movement rather than the hands pulling the club down first, okay? Uh, when we get to the top of the backswing, as we've spoken about multiple times, is that we're trying to get the lower half to trigger first, chest to come through, and the hands and the club to come through last. So hips, chest, hands. Step drill is a really good way to kind of force that upon your body to start feeling that move. Um, basically, uh, we spoke about it during the lesson, but from a setup point of view, we get both our feet together in line with the golf ball, okay? 
we're going to then take a nice full shoulder width stance and step back, okay? We're going to hover the club over the top of the golf ball. Now what we're trying to create is our awareness of when this club starts to make its way back is when we start stepping forward. Now because if we can do this, it forces us to get our lower half to start moving first, chest second, and hands last. Okay, so without a golf ball is a good way to try and start things off. Finding my position, imagining still the golf ball is there. Step back, club over the top of the ball, club goes back as we step forward, and then we come through to our finish. Now it's important that we learn to use speed within this drill, not to be scared of it, okay? So what we're trying to do is that when you have your full body movement and full sequence pattern, it's done automatically. So that's subconscious training. So if we're doing it slowly, we can become aware of exactly what we're trying to do. When we start doing it fast, we're gonna see if whether we can still keep that movement happening, okay? So a little bit quicker. Stepping as club goes back, coming through, and holding finish position, all right? From down the line, to have a look at that, okay? Imagine the ball position is there. We're going to step back, keep club over the ball, backing off, stepping at the same time, okay? Full motion. Trying to hold that finish position as best as we can. Now, with a ball, don't be scared of the impact and don't be scared of a bad outcome. We're just trying to get used to making an impact. But we have ball position, feet together, step back, hover over ball, trigger in, finish the swing, okay? Down the line, we'll have a look at that. Now, I won't hit this too far and I've only got a wedge. You can do it with any club, but I do have a big yard, but... um. Car's driving past, so I don't want to obviously hit it too far. So here we go. We have step back, hover, backing, stepping off, and hitting through. All right. Hopefully one of the kids can find that ball in the dark. Anyway, that's our step drill. Really trying to promote motions of inertia being controlled by our body parts. Hope it helps. Happy golfing.